Today we're going to talk about one of my all-time favorite things. Dogs. Hey pup, hey pup. Hey pup. Oh yeah. Who's a good boy? This lovable pup over here, this is Bones. Uh, he is a yellow lab and we have owned him now for over two years. Bones is a purebred lab. Uh, we've owned him since he was just a puppy. When we were looking for a dog for our homestead, we needed something very, very specific. First off, we definitely needed a puppy because it is hard to train an older dog not to go after your chickens and your animals. You want to get your pup used to all the animals at a very young age. As we walk through the farm today, you'll see how good Bones does with all the other livestock. He just was used to everybody and nothing gets him too worked up to the point where he could hurt something. There's five commands that I find to be very, very handy when working with a farm dog. If you teach him these five commands, and they're all kind of like hunting dog commands, but they really help out when you got a dog on a farm with a bunch of livestock. The first one that I like to teach him, uh, this is a kennel or crate or pen. It's essentially whatever you call his regular everyday home. So if I tell Bones right now, pup pup, I'm making a video about how well my dog has behaved and he's eating the cat's food. <laughs> they always make you look bad. So the first command I want to show you is this one. So whether you call it kennel or crate, we like to call it outside pen. The cool thing is that no matter where I am on the farm, if I need him to just get out of the way, I can just tell him that and he'll go run into his place. The next command is very handy when uh, walking around, not only the farm, but in a foreign area. Maybe if you're you know, going to the farmer's market, walking down the street. If it's a hunting dog, walking into a brand new field where he's excited. This command is heel. And what heel is, is a command for the dog to walk right at your side there. And if you stop, he stops. Now I'm gonna go do some work with the chickens and I don't want him in the middle of it. I don't want him scaring the birds and messing them. Uh, so watch what we use next with our farm dog. One of the most basic commands, but also one of the most helpful. You can see right away he's interested in the chicken feed, a lot of chicken poo. He wants to go and mess with them. I wanna work, I wanna fill the feeders, check the waterers, collect eggs and not have to worry about him maybe sneaking off and grabbing an egg or something. So this simple command can be used for this if they respect it. Pop up. Sit. It's imperative that you train your dog that sit means sit. It's not just the action of putting his butt on the ground, but it's the action of keeping it there. If your dog respects this command, sit, you can get so much done on the farm and not worry about what your pup's doing. One of the best things about doing your daily chores is it gives you a daily opportunity to train your dog. It gives him a chance to get better and better and better. The first time you do this, you won't be able to walk away. I wasn't. The second time or the third time, you won't be able to walk away. You'll have to stay there and enforce it. You might even have to have a post that you have a leash and you attach him to while you do the morning chores. But as he gets better and better and better, each day you reinforce your training with longer and longer periods of this. If I left him for two hours, eventually he'd walk away. But if I keep training him to that point, well then he won't. One of the things I'm working on with him right now is the hold command. This is a hunting command, you don't need to teach a farm dog this, but it's something I'm working on with him. And so while I go and do work, I make him practice. Watch, this is how we do it. Fetch it up. Hold. He's not supposed to drop that. He needs to keep it in his mouth. Whether he does or not, we'll see. Ready 
for me to grab until I say give. Good boy. Good pup. Hold, give, those are only things you need to train a hunting dog. I just showed you here because it's something that I'm working on and it's great when you're out and about doing your daily chores, take advantage of that time to train your pup, get them better and better. So, so far we've showed you pen. No, no, you don't have to go there. We've showed you heel. We've showed you sit. That's three. There's two more. Place and come. Let's go work on those. The kennel command, or the pen, or the crate, <laughs> is a great command, but it has limits. If you're somewhere that you've never been before, and uh, the dog is unfamiliar with it, you won't be able to use that command to keep him in a certain spot. He knows that his pen is over there, and that's when, where he has to go when I say that word. He knows that his crate is his spot inside the house. But I can use the word place no matter where I am. It's very similar in that you're designating a spot for the dog to go to and stay. For example, here we are in the pasture. Big nice rock right there. We're gonna call that place. That tells him that he has to stay there. It also designates this spot as special. So if we go somewhere else, if we throw a few bumpers, but then I tell him to go back to his place, well then he knows to come back here. Let's demonstrate. First off, notice that he stays put as I walk away. We'll go say hi to Luna. Hi, Loon. How are you doing? Just throwing him a bumper. Now he's to stay in that spot until I release him. This is very important. If the dog doesn't respect that, it doesn't help you in any way. His command to go and retrieve is when I shout his name. That's the only time I really use his name. As a retriever, you don't use the dog's name to bring them to you. You use a different command for that. That command is come. Good pup. And now to send him, bones! Give. Good pup. Now watch what happens when I direct him to his place mid-retrieve. So we'll throw this bumper. Bones. Place. Obviously, if you don't have a hunting dog, you're thinking, why do I need to know place, right, on the homestead? Imagine we were working with the cows, and uh, I saw Bones headed into an area where Ladybug was gonna be, and I didn't want Bones to go there. If I told him sit, well, Ladybug's still headed that direction. If I tell him place, well, he'll go to that place that I've established. So it's very handy in controlling a dog in new surroundings, uh, making sure they have a spot to go to out of the way, you know, not within the farm core area. So this one works well for us. Now I'll let him come back to me. Come. Give. Good pop, good pop. Good boy. Those five commands, the kennel command, establishing a regular place for them every day where they live so that they'll go there when you tell them to. The heel command, a great way to control them in new surroundings and make sure they stick close to you no matter what. The sit command, an easy way to make sure your dog isn't gonna get in trouble while you're doing your chores around the farm.
place, a designated spot to send them to, get them out of harm's way, or just get them out of your hair. And of course, come. The command that brings them back to you so that you can head back up to the house. No dead chickens, no chased cows, no harmed goats. A well-behaved farm dog. Even though he's a bird dog, even though I take him out in the field and he retrieves pheasants, we can walk right through that chicken run and he won't touch any of them because he knows those are my birds, it's not working time, and they're off limits. Yes. There it is. I hope those five commands help out. The best way to do it is a little bit every day. And do it right in with your chores. If your dog doesn't know this and he's a little bit older, well, make him sit for five seconds, then make him sit for 10, and then 30, and then a minute. You know, a little bit every day, just incrementally, is the best way to teach these things. Work it into your daily routine. And if you don't have a dog yet, as soon as you get that puppy, Start letting him meet all your other animals, walking him around the farm, and as he continues to grow, again, same way, a little bit every day. Hope you like this video. Sign up to our email list so you don't miss any of our videos. And check out that playlist, playlist right there. It's all about farm dogs. I think you'll like it.